Hold up. All right, what's going on guys, Mr. Clasher? Welcome back to another Clash of Clans gameplay commentary. And this is my first time doing a live commentary with Delgado. So if my game plays a couple seconds behind with the voice, I do apologize. Or if it's two seconds in front, apologize about that. But anyway, so today I'm going to be showing some loot up in Masters. I think, yeah, Masters 3. And I'm trying to farm around 2,600 trophies, but sometimes I lose a couple of raids. And the first one we're going to go check it out is this 49%. So this morning I raided this guy and I kind of made a mistake here. So I decided to drop the two mortars. I mean the two lightning spells on the two mortars on the top left and right side of the base. I thought it was a pretty good choice but it definitely did cost me at the end. So and also I had a feeling there were traps in here and there was actually traps in here. So and a good thing that's actually happened is I figured out a way now how to make file sizes way smaller. So I'm using a new method kind of of rendering the video and tell me what you guys think about it. I think it's the same quality or if it's a little worse or a little better. Um, just tell me in the comment section below. But anyway, I think there was a giant bomb somewhere in there. I'm not sure. But this is before I had my king. Um, obviously my king was not ready in the morning. He was ready in the afternoon. So at, here I'm at 23%. Look at that. Yep. The, that giant bomb just killed probably over half of my army at least. Like 80% of my army gone almost. So my queen is just pretty much the one that's going to be doing the, the most damage. I do have these archers actually. And look how much gold they take. That is a very, very good amount of gold. And they actually take out this inferno tower. If this player had multi multi set inferno tower, he definitely would not have. Um, he would have definitely actually destroyed all my archers, but anyway, here's my queen. She's going to be under damage, and I use her royal cloak right when she's about to die, and that queen distracts me. And I, ha yep, that's if that queen wasn't there, I might have got the expo. And if I would have saved this spell, I would have knocked out that um, actually, what do you call it, um, the archer queen's thing. So yeah, 49%. Um, not very good raid. I mean, I got actually, no, it was a very good raid. Um, very good loot. And, uh, yeah, so we're actually in a small war right now. We're in a 2020 war. So this is because of the new update. We can choose what the players are. And this is our, one of our, well, pretty much our top 20 best attackers, at least in my opinion, I think. So we're going to see how well we do against this clan. Now, the other clan has 30, um, yeah, 37 wins, but... If you look at their bases, first we're going to be probably attacking them for sure. Um, if there are any of them are watching, I'm not going to give anything out of way. But yeah, we're going to be attacking them. And they do have Tunnel 8. So this is going to be a close war because all the guys that I picked actually do care about war. Here's everybody. Um, and I'm going to say, say hi to YouTube. And a lot of people want to join this clan, guys. So really do apologize about... Um, if you can't join this clan because you have to be at least level 80 plus with the 100 war stars so we're going to see how well this war goes and hopefully we can at least hit them pretty hard if we don't actually beat them so one more actually right before i you know leave this live commentary this is the one i recently got and honestly i hate 49 percent and this is the first raid i had my level 16 barbarian king so I do drop my barbarians and archers near that archer tower and I just spread them out by the collectors and I'm telling you guys the loot up in masters is amazing. Um, hey, there's FSU ATL texting me on Twitter. We're actually doing a secret collab this weekend. So um, not just with him with a couple other YouTubers and it's going to be epic. So stay tuned for that. But anyway, um, it's going to be yeah, pretty awesome. So I'm just dropping my barbarians and archers. And honestly, barching up in Masters is so simple. Um, I used to struggle at Town Hall 8 at Masters to stay there, but now it's just like my farming range, you know. Above 2,500 trophies is where I like it because of the loot bonus. You get 100,000 of each and a 500 Dark Elixir, and that's really nice. So let's speed this up real quick. And I do try to get the Dark Elixir because I'm, I have a lot of Dark Elixir, but I want to get as much as possible, so... 
here we go. I think I do drop my king right. Oh, yeah. Wow, that was a little late, but I do drop my king. And the level 16 king is actually pretty cool. He takes a lot of damage from defenses, cannons, teslas, and the archer queen. That was actually shooting my king all this time. So 50%, pretty good loot. Anyway, hopefully you guys did enjoy this live commentary. Um, I really hope we can win this war. Honestly, I really do hope um, this 20 players that I chose, I really hope they attack. So we'll see you guys if we do win. And if we don't win, I, we're going to give a good fight. I already know it. So everybody will attack. I mean, these guys are just active and loyal. So um, here's some people saying hi to YouTube. Um, my clan, I like my clan overall. It's really cool. Here's my new emblem. Um, somebody said it's, it's from Sweden. It's actually not Swedish colors. It's, uh, it's Ukraine, which is close to Russia, if you guys know where that is in Europe. So... Um, anyway, this is our clan. Um, hopefully you guys did enjoy this live commentary. Make sure you leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And tell me in the comment section below, um, actually, whether I should upgrade my king after war or if I should upgrade Valks to level 3. Even I don't even use him that much, but in the comments below, if you're still watching this video, tell me Valks to level 3 or king to level 17. But anyway, um, if you could smash 35 likes, that would be awesome, and I'll see you.